friends join me for tea today i also have some delicious cardamom flavored cupcakes i baked them few days ago and they turned out super delicious soft and so flavorful cardamom is supposed to be known as queen of spices and you can imagine the flavors these cupcakes have i made them actually for the first time so i did not do the recording i thought let me make them first try them out if they come out perfect then i will share the recipe with all of you so how about baking them today right away shall we do it okay let's get started For the cupcakes, we have taken all-purpose flour or maida, one and quarter cups, icing sugar, three fourth cup, oil half cup. I am using olive oil. Do not use extra virgin olive oil. Use you can also use any vegetable oil that has no smell. Vanilla essence, few drops. Sour cream or yogurt, one third cup. Milk, one third cup. Two eggs, salt half teaspoon, cardamom powder two teaspoons, baking soda half teaspoon, baking powder three fourth teaspoon. All these ingredients have to be at room temperature. This is very important. Now first we are going to start with sifting the flour. Add the baking powder and baking soda. while sifting so this will mix them together very well now this is done next we are going to sift the icing sugar as well to remove all the lumps this will give us a fine texture using a spoon mix it breaking all the lumps Yeah, we go. Now this also has been sifted. Set them aside now. Take a larger bowl for mixing and transfer the icing sugar into it. Add the oil first. Beat them together until they are smooth and mixed thoroughly. when they look nice and creamy we will add the eggs one by one add one egg beat it until nice and fluffy now goes the next one beat it again Now add the cardamom powder and salt. You can see that we have added a substantial amount of cardamom powder because this is the key ingredient in these cupcakes. After blending them together, next we will add the yogurt or sour cream. If you have sour cream, it's okay. Otherwise, even yogurt will work well. Next goes in the milk. blend it together add few drops of vanilla essence
Finally, we'll spoon the sifted flour little by little and continue beating. Do this until all the flour is used up. Now in this, this cupcakes recipe you will see that the batter is little liquidy than the other cakes. I was wondering also but it worked well. All the flour is gone into it now. Give it a nice blend. Using a spatula, remove everything from the edges, any flour that is stuck. Finally, give it a nice blend again. This is done. Let's fill the cupcake molds. Fill them up to half or three fourth. I like smaller size cake, so I'm filling half. You can see the batter is a little runny, but the cakes come out very well. Meanwhile, you preheat the oven at 180 degrees C. Here goes the second batch. Totally, you get about 20 to 22 cupcakes from this quantity. You can also use silicone molds for this. Bake them in 180 degrees C preheated oven for 15 to 17 minutes or until done. You can check by inserting a toothpick. If it is done, it will come out clean. So the cakes are done. We are going to cool them well before storing them. You can cool them on a rack. So the delicious flavorful cardamom flavored cupcakes are ready for you. Look at the texture, so soft and spongy. Very nice. They are really very soft, melt in the mouth and so flavorful with the cardamom flavors. Just look at that. They make a great tea time snack. I like my cupcakes plain, but if you wish, you can decorate them with some frosting of your choice. Either way, I hope you enjoy them with your family and friends. Happy baking. Do share the feedback when you make them. And thanks for watching my videos. Stay tuned for more recipes. And if you have any request for the recipe, do post a comment. I shall make it as soon as possible. Thank you. If you are a new visitor to the channel, do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads. Here are some videos from the archives. Do check them out. We'll soon be back with another new recipe. Bye. Until then, have a nice day.